Hey y'all, I'm Mandy, and this is Mandy in the Making. Today I'm going to give you a kitchen tour. First, a little bit about my kitchen. We moved into this house a year and a half, almost two years ago, and the first thing I noticed was this kitchen. We came from a house where cabinet space was limited, and here we have 28 cabinets. There were some empty cabinets when we first moved in. I really didn't even know what to do with them. But all of the cabinets are original to the house. The person who flipped this house painted the cabinets so they're white. Eventually, on down the road, we'll probably replace them, but as of right now, they're working just fine. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you'll stick around. Why don't you just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I've done a full house tour in the past. I'll be sure to link that right here. I love to see other people's kitchen tours so you can see inside of their cabinets. Call me nosy. I probably am, but I love it. So I figured you guys might want to see the inside of my cabinets, so let's get started. All right, so we're gonna get started right down here, actually. So we've got these two bar stools, and then we've got these two hidden cabinets, which I love because they store things that I very rarely use. So I'll show you inside of there first. So that is our china that we registered for and have never used. We've been married for 18 years. There's an ice cream maker there, food processor, which truth be told, I haven't used that in probably three or four years. Anybody else have a food processor that you never use? Um, and that's like a drink dispenser. That older piece in there was my husband's grandmother's cookie jar. But these are just things that we don't use very often that are stuffed in here. Now looking over from the island is where we have our coffee bar. I just recently redid that. If you haven't seen that video, I'll be sure to link it here. We actually have nothing in these two cabinets up here simply because they're really hard to access and we had plenty of cabinet space so we really didn't need to store anything up there. In that basket right there are our grilling tools. Anything my husband needs to grill is in that little wicker basket up there. Up top we just have a few extra water bottles, my vitamins, and then working your way down it's just a medicine cabinet. I just have some Dollar Tree bins that I've put in there to kind of corral like things, but that's it. Now this is our cups and our glasses. And just to be real with you, a lot of this is in the dishwasher, so that's why it looks pretty empty, but we have like our juice glasses up here. A couple of my favorite cups with lids and straws. Then coffee mugs go here. And then our mason jar glasses and other cups that we drink out of pretty frequently go down here. Directly below the coffee bar, we have these three drawers and these three cabinets. So let's look at those now. These two cabinets have pull-out drawers in them, which I don't know if that, that is original to the house. It looks like it is, but this is where I keep all of our pots and pans. So these slide out. And this cabinet over here on the far right houses all of my um, candles and wax melts. They all go in here. And then we have a few essential oils too. This is directly under our coffee station. So we just have our K-cups here, some paper straws, and then extra coffee filters. The second drawer here has all of our aluminum foil, wax paper, all of that stuff just goes in there. And then the last drawer right above our candles is our junk drawer. And honestly, I didn't look at this before I started. Oh, it's not bad. I cleaned it out not too long ago, but you know how quickly these things can get out of control. So now we're back to, I call it the island, but it's attached. But if you'll notice up here on the ceiling, there used to be cabinets that hung from here, but the lady who redid our house ripped them out, which of course I didn't care. We still have 28 cabinets, but then it just opened up this space so you can see through and it just feels a lot bigger. This cabinet is pretty much just to store extra things. Um, I've got a couple of out of season coffee mugs here. I have our blender here, which we very rarely use. Uh, mason jar glasses and mason jars are, are back there, as well as some vases. And I also have our cake plate. So it's kind of just a hodgepodge of things. I don't go into this cabinet very much. The drawer right over this cabinet is our silverware drawer. I love this bamboo tray. 
We have all of our um, chopsticks over here. And these two cabinets, again, it's kind of a hodgepodge of things. I have um, my most used recipe books here. One of them is one that I've made. And then Magnolia Table of Paula Deen. Then I have some more things that I don't use very often, like deviled egg trays, some party platters and bowls, some 9 by 13 baking dishes and their carriers. Our toaster goes down here. We don't use it very often, so I don't like for it to be up on the counter. And this drawer here, just a lot of different kitchen gadgets that I use. I know it's not very organized, but I know where everything is. And then this drawer has all of our microfiber in it. These two cabinets just hold all of our dishes, our nicer dishes, and our plastic ones that I just picked up at Target the other day. I love those. They replaced some really old plastic ones that we had that had seen better days. And then over here in the corner, we just have a lot of the small like prep bowls and things like that. We have these coffee mugs, which we never use. They came with this set, and honestly, I think I should probably just get rid of them. And then we have this up here. This is our onion dicer. I love that. I use it all the time. Don't be alarmed at the smoke outside. My son started a fire in the fire pit. It's all good. But let's take a look at these two cabinets under the sink. I bet you know what's in them. These two cabinets just have all of our cleaning supplies in them. I did not clean this up before I started the video, so I apologize. It's kind of a mess in here. Um, I've got our dishwashing stuff over here, everyday cleaners here, our dishwasher tabs are over there. We've got some bug spray back there. It's a mess, but again, I know where everything is, so it doesn't have to look perfect. Cabinet right next to the sink is our Tupperware or our food storage, I guess. These are Tupperware, but nothing else is. I think these are Rubbermaid. I love these because all of this locks together and it makes it super easy to find the lid that you need. On the top shelf here, I have the smaller ones on a Lazy Susan, so I can reach all of them. And then we have like our big popcorn tin back there and bigger bowls that I use for food prep and things like that. And this cabinet goes way back there, all the way to that back wall. I don't utilize all of the space back there. This cabinet just houses both of my crock pots. I have a smaller one and a larger one. I like having them right here next to the stove. It's where I normally set the crock pot up so it's really easy to grab. And then I also keep my slow cooker liners in there. But that's all that's in that cabinet. The two drawers right above those two cabinets. This one just has all of our dish towels and my drying mat in, in it. This one squeaks, so there we go. It's not too bad, but you'll hear it when I, when I push it in. This is kind of like my baking drawer. It has my measuring cups, my measuring spoons, our meat thermometer, spatulas, and then if you see back there, it has a hand mixer. We've had that hand mixer since we got married, and it's doing just fine. 18 years strong. All right, now you get to hear it squeak on the way in. These cabinets have a little bit of everything in them. We've got baking dishes, food storage. These are our glass food storage, some older Tupperware. When my son used to go to school at a brick and mortar school outside of the home, this is stuff that I used to pack his lunches. And then I also keep all of our Ziploc bags up here. I did have them across the kitchen, but I found myself always having to go over there and grab them and it just got on my nerves so I moved them over here and it's been a lot easier ever since. These two cabinets just have our cutting boards in them and our measuring cups, mixing bowls, and colanders and things like that. We don't access these very often. They're above the microwave. This is a butt cake pan and our olive oil and vegetable oil and that's it. Right here next to the microwave is our spices cabinet. I have another Lazy Susan in here. I love having that so I can just see all of my spices at once. I do have overflow along the back and the sides. Any of our cooking vinegars and wines are gonna be up here. I made this Lazy Susan out of two of the uh, cake plates that you can get at the Dollar Tree and you just put marbles in between the two and it works just fine. But all of our cooking sprays are in here. This drawer right next to the stove has our pot holders and I don't even know what you call this little hot plate thing, I guess. 
that you set hot stuff on and then underneath there is just a seasonal dish towel not really sure why that's in there but we're just gonna go with it and last but not least is this last cabinet over here anytime we go to a Clemson football game we always bring those cups home and we very rarely use them I should probably get rid of some of them but it breaks my heart to get rid of anything Clemson so as you can see the rest of this cabinet is pretty much just a mess that's the electric can opener there's cat treats there there are water filters for our refrigerator there empty candy dishes back there then we have some lunch boxes and thermos stuff and then you may be wondering why I have cotton balls in here I'll show you I have this wax warmer here in the kitchen so whenever it's turned on and it's time to take wax out I just soak it up with cotton balls Terry taught me that one and I appreciate that and I don't know that I've ever shown our trash can. It's over here beside the refrigerator. Thank you so much for watching my kitchen tour today. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave it a thumbs up if you love kitchen tours like I do. And comment below and just say hey. I love talking to you guys in the comments. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye.